Hey gamers, what's up? Today we're gonna to take a closer look at the NES Omnibus Volume 1. I um, hope I'm saying that right, Omnibus. It's a, it's a fun word to say. I wonder if you say it multiple, would it be, if there were plural of these, would it be Omnibuy, the NES Omnibuy. Anyway, I'm, I'm getting off track here. But uh, this is by author Brett Weiss, a uh, good friend of mine, full disclosure. I did pay for this book through the Kickstarter. I did support him through the Kickstarter, that's how I got this. However, uh, he did want he, to provide me an extra one to give away to one of you guys. So all you have to do, guys, in the comment section, leave below uh, what your favorite NES game is. That's it. I want to keep it simple. I will choose a winner. Also, just so you know, there is a, a little caveat to that. Uh, domestic shipping only. So if you live overseas, uh, please leave a comment. You're certainly welcome to. But unfortunately, uh, this winner will be uh, domestically in the U.S. only for shipping uh, reasons. But uh, I want to take a closer look at this book. Uh, I'll put a link below for with additional details in case you guys want to check it out. Uh, this is the volume one. There's going to be volume two down the road. This covers A through L alphabetically. Uh, he did previously uh, do a, a Super Nintendo Omnibus book, or Omnibuy <laughs> books, uh, and those came out in two volumes as well. I did previous videos on those. These books, these, these guidebooks, are, are, are not uncommon, certainly, in the gaming community. Jeff Whitnagan has done one, a couple. Uh, you know, uh, Pat the NES Punk also has done one. So... I uh, would love to support the community. I think those are really cool. Each of these are unique in their own way. Uh, so I think they're all really cool in their own way. Uh, so let's take a closer look and go from there. Thanks, guys. Okay, so here's a closer look. It's got a nice little uh, cover here that does come off. And even if you do take it off, uh, it's still nice. So the quality of this book is really, I mean, they've done a good job. The production value is really good. Um, and uh, let's open this up, go to some random pages here. Uh, he did a nice thank you, uh, Brett, for signing it for me, of course. That's cool. He personalized it. That's awesome. A lot of pictures, a lot of visuals, which I love to see. And, and I love things like this because it really, I don't know, for me, I'm, I'm more of a physical guy. I like the physical copies of the games. And it's nice to, to refer to, to something like this physically as opposed to go online and, and searching what, online. Because, yes, you can go to Google. Yes, you can find out information about the game. But this is nice just in the game room to have. It talks about um, the author, about the Nintendo itself. Uh, Brett's done a number of, of game books, books in general. I know he's a huge Kiss fan as well, the band. Um, so everything's alphabetical, which makes it easy. Uh, you got the picture of the box art, top left corner. You got information quotables, a little summary of the game, quotables, uh, insider insight. I believe that I also contributed to this book or the other one. I'll be honest with you, I forget which game I talked about, if that's the case. I know uh, Super Nintendo I did. I'm, I'm pretty sure I did on this as one as well. But, you know, it talks about the publisher, uh, developer, uh, game type, a uh, year it came out, a uh, ton of screen, different screenshots. In some cases, you see a picture of the game. Uh, but just very visual, which is great. Um, keep going through here. Kind of skip it. Arkanoid came with a unique controller, which is really cool. So I love about the NES. It had a lot of unique peripherals, that you, of course, add-ons. A ton of different baseball games came out for it. This is the first baseball game. I think Baseball Stars is... It's probably my favorite of the baseball games by SNK, later produced for the, uh, Neo Geo. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure game. Good movie, not so much the game. Uh, and they filmed that movie uh, actually down the street, right down the street from where I live, actually. Kind of random fact. Um, got a bookmark, which is nice. Uh, and uh, I'm skipping ahead because it shows, I want to show you, there's some other additional artwork here as well. Donkey Kong. You know, over about 700 games were produced for the NES. There's been hundreds of homebrews as well that have been produced over the years. DuckTales, love that game as well. Um, let's go back to DuckTales. Talks about uh, inside. This is uh, Crystal. She did it, uh, her Insider Insight. So it's cool that, you know, he got a lot of contributors to, to add to it. Notable quotables. Um, this game is good graphics. Nice feel. I would agree with that. Classic Capcom game for sure. Absolutely. Elevator action, port of the arcade by Tato or Taito, however you want to say it. I say Taito, you say tomato, I say potato, you say potato. All right, uh, Fester's Quest, also a good game. Sunsoft, Sunsoft made some really good games, Final Fantasy. Uh, Sunsoft just had really good games and graphics of the games. I'm not quite sure what happened to Sunsoft, unfortunately. They're not making games much anymore that I see. Funhouse, based on the classic game show, I think that was on like MTV or something, wasn't it? Gargoyles 2, classic Capcom. Ghostbusters. So definitely uniform. Everything's kind of the same, which is good. Uh, makes it easy to kind of understand what you're looking for. 
ton of pages. I can see why you broke it down to, to different Last Starfighter, good movie as well. Um, but I can see why you broke it down into two different versions because even this pa this book is over 400 pages long. So if you were to do um, you know multi one big book, it just this thing is heavy as it is, and it, I could just see it getting really kind of overboard. Here's kind of between you get this nice little image poster here, it's not a poster, but a dual image there, which is cool. So plenty to see. I just want to kind of share with you. Um, Comic book and video games. Let's see at the end here. He talks about the Power Glove, uh, the Wizard movie, uh, which is classic Fred Savage. Uh, a little more in insight on additional things outside just games. The comic book video game with the NES. Talk about different comic books. I think I will say this. I think Batman by Sumsoft, probably one of the better games on this list, in my opinion. Probably one of the better soundtracks, for sure. I love the soundtrack that. Um, Bucky O'Hare is a really good game too. Arcade port is even better, different. Um, and here are the Kickstarters. Let's see if I'm on here. There I am right here. Uh, right in the middle there. I don't know how you can see on the camera, but I am there. So back to Kickstarter. Uh, thank you so much, guys. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll put a link to uh, Brett's channel below. He does, he's got a great channel. Uh, does a lot of insight and videos and stuff like that. If you enjoy retro games, I think you'll really enjoy his channel. Uh, we'll see you guys soon. Take care and, of course, game on.